Hey there, what is up you guys? Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and I picked up the brand new Tarte High Tides and Good Vibes eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, can we take a look at this packaging and just appreciate that for all its glory. It is just like, I want all my phone cases to be like this. I want, I want all my palettes to be like this. This is competing with my favorite palette casing and packaging of all time, which is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar, just because it's so dense, it's thick, it's gorgeous. And uh, you know, if you haven't seen the inside yet, you know I'm gonna show you. Whoa, bam! Check it out. We have these beautiful corals, these amazing blues, We've got some metallic shades, and all four of these are pressed glitters. And oh my goodness. Yes, Tarte, yes. It has been a long time since I was craving a palette from Tarte. And in fact, I've only ever used one Tarte eyeshadow palette before, and that was in 2000 and like 10, 2010? So nine years ago, I used a Tarte eyeshadow palette. To be honest, I wasn't that impressed back then, so I never really got around to picking it up, but I have swatched some recent ones, and I was like, this is really beautiful. I just didn't need the color scheme. This one, though, I need the color scheme. I need the packaging. I need it in my life. Oh, baby, oh, baby. If you're wondering what we're gonna do today, well, today we are gonna be doing some arm swatches, eye swatches, specifications, and I'm gonna tell you how this palette is actually performing, because I have done an eye look using this palette already, just to kind of get the feel and everything and you know that just like last time with the Riviera palette from Anastasia I filmed an Instagram tutorial for you guys doing this eye looks so you're gonna have to follow me over on Instagram and I'll throw it up on Twitter too so make sure you follow me on Twitter as well and you can see how I created this eye look using this palette so if you want to jump into it if that sounds all good and dandy to you guys then you know what to do just go ahead and sit back hang tight keep on watching Before we jump into swatches, let's talk really quickly about specifications. I know it's boring for some, but some people might like it, so just sit back, it only takes a minute. So this is the Unicarton that it actually comes in. Really beautiful, just underwater, under the sea. It's just, I mean, it should be hung on a wall, quite frankly, minus the labeling. It is just really pretty, but, but not, not a lot of people care about the Unicarton, I get it. So this packaging, I'll show you some up-close shots. It is just amazing. If you can't see it, let me describe it to you. It's like a free-floating water, kind of like that weird jelly thing that just moves around and shifts and it just it mesmerizes you it is just beautiful and it has some little seaweed emblems going up on top and the cute little turtle now the inside as you saw is absolutely gorgeous you are getting 12 different shades in here and different formulas too you have the matte formulas here 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 and then the rest are metallics right there right there and then this row right here like I said is a pressed glitter so that looks amazing you can now pick this up at Sephora for $39 which for me that is actually pretty reasonable considering that this case just feels Feel super like luxurious I don't know it's just dense it's hard to describe it to you without actually feeling it but it just looks like it ain't gonna mess around it looks nice these shadows look like they are amazing so if you like that color scheme then honey it's a, it's a beautiful beautiful piece if, it, if at anything it's a collector's piece cuz I've literally never seen a palette this gorgeous before. I mean, well, debatable, debatable, but uh, so let's go ahead and jump into some swatches baby Now for me, arm swatches do not tell the whole story, but I for one do like arm swatches still because I just like to see the colors actual outside of the pan on human skin. So uh, that's just the way I like to do it. So now we're gonna jump right into eye swatches. If you are new to my eye swatch videos, I do it on bare skin. So no eye primer is involved, no concealer or anything like that. Just clean and bare. I do one side with a finger and one side with a brush of choice depending on the formula of the shadow. And you will see when I get to the glitters that I try it both with a brush and both with a finger and you'll see right here here in a minute which one works better all right let's go ahead and jump into those swatches
hours later. All right, there are all the swatches, but you and I both know that swatches do not tell the whole story. They help us figure out, are things better with a finger? Or are they better with a brush? Are they better without eye primer? How do they actually look on human skin? But only me and you can tell you how it actually performs once we use it. So since I did this eye look for you guys today for that Instagram tutorial, I was able to kind of come up with my own opinion and see if this palette is really worth it, how it actually blends, how it's performing, and everything like that. So let's talk about, really quickly performance now as you saw in the swatches when I was using my blending brush this shade the light blue one called a surf's up did need to be built up it was kind of hard to get it to actually show up on my skin tone but do not worry because when I use it on a primed eyelid it was actually perfect it was able to have a really pretty wash of color and then build up a little bit I didn't have to fill up too much and it blended out like butter really really good then I went in with the dive in shade which is this dark deep metallic one and I blended it into the crease I know what girl you are not supposed to be blending shimmers and glitters and metallics into the crease girl makeup is for fun and makeup is for also bending the rules and it looked amazing so do not be afraid to play with that metallic shade right in the crease because you may find out that it looks beautiful so whatever no really it worked really really nice and then i packed on this amazing you saw you saw the swatches this amazing royal blue metallic shade i put that right on to the lid underneath the aquaholic now as you saw in the eye swatches the pressed glitters are going on so much better with a finger don't even bother with the brush don't even bother. Your finger is just fine if you want that mega, mega glitter payoff. If you just want like a couple little sparkles, they go with the brush because it only picks up and deposits a little bit. The formula does feel very, very similar to the glitters in the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, except I can kind of use a brush with those ones. This one though, almost feels more dry, but not in a bad way. I don't know how to describe it because it picks up one on my finger fine. I think because it mixes with my oils in my finger or something that it just picks up, packs on, no, no problem. Works beautifully. And then on the center of the lid, I went in with Champagne Beach and I have the same opinion on that. In the inner corner, I did use a brush with, uh, what is this? Tur turtlelet, oh, turtlelet, I get it. Like tartlet, but turtle. <laughs> That's cute, Tart, that's cute. So I went in with this one with a brush just on the inner corner just because I only wanted a little, little tiny bit of glitter there. I didn't want like mega glitter right there and it worked really nice for that. Hey guys, I'm just editing the video right now and I forgot to mention that I did get a little bit of fallout with the metallic and glitter shades. I'll pop up the video of that really quickly for you. So just something to keep in mind, just like with all glitters, I do my eye makeup first when I'm using things that have a little bit of fallout and then I wipe it away and go with my face foundation, no problem. And I also wanted to mention that I did my eye tutorial about mm, four hours before filming this portion of the video because I had to stop and make dinner so um, yeah I didn't have any creasing or anything like that with the glitter and then I continued to wear it so I wore it for a total of like six to eight hours and my slightly hooded eyelids didn't get any creasing I used a total of seven shades today to create this eye look and you'll definitely have to make sure you follow me over at Instagram and Twitter so you don't miss that tutorial and you can check it out but I have to say considering it's been nine years since I used a Tarte eyeshadow palette this 
is it, Tarte. This is it, this is where it's at. These are blending beautifully, they're going on with the eyelid beautifully, everything is really wonderful. Do I regret purchasing this palette? Absolutely not! I do not regret this palette purchase at all, even though I've not in a lot of palettes recently. This one's beautiful and I'm super excited to do more looks with it. I will be filming a YouTube tutorial using the more corally nude shades definitely real soon, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that, because I post at least three times a week, and we would love to have you a part of the fam fam, so go down and subscribe real quick. It's really quick, just tap that little button. So I'm gonna cut myself off right here so I can ramble on and on and on and on. Honestly, I could talk forever about makeup. It's it's just crazy. So that's why I also want you guys to comment down below, tell me your thoughts on this palette, what are you thinking, what's the tea, do you want it, do you not want it? I don't know, I can't read your mind, you gotta tell me what's up. Ooh. Okay, you guys, thank you all so much for watching and I hope every single one of you out there have a great, freaking awesome, wonderful, happy, good vibes type of day.